cornflower blue sleeveless smock thing. It goes all the way to her ankles. She twirls the skirt lifting up, flowing. We dance our bodies close at first. A two-step or a foxtrot or whatever it is, nice rhythm, fast and lots of spinning. The sound of gold against gold. Then we break out into a jitterbug. Olga lets out a big laugh, throws her head back, her gold hooped earrings, flashes of gold light. Her cornflower blue scarf comes undone, falls down around her shoulders. Olga tosses it away, doesn't miss a beat. Something you gotta know about me and dancing. Maybe it's all gay men. I think it is, at least most of us. Nothing can make me happier except writing. Dance is why I think straight guys like sports so much. They get to move. They get to move remarkably. People watch you, and you get to show off how you can move. Bet Porogushka and me dancing at the Mercedes Inns, Mercedes Inn were, were the best dancing days. Nothing's come close, except for nights like this one. Olga and me and Hank. Hank's dancing with us too, even though he's sitting. He just don't doesn't know it. Put on an LP, a big band, and Ella Fitzgerald on a stereo hi-fi, and that's all it takes. In all my life, of all the places I'll go around the world, Paris, Nairobi, Mombasa, Marrakesh, London, Rome, Madrid, Barcelona, always the best times, the most exotic, the most romantic, tender, the most intimate, is after a great dinner in a home of a friend, bottles of wine, maybe a spliff, Turn on the stereo and dance around the table with your friends. I'm beginning to see the light. My body feels good moving. Dead Lorca dancing is the only way to shake it off. The heavens above and the earth below connect. My body is what connects them. In the connection, transformation. What it is to be alive. When the record's over, Olga and I are trying to get breath. Hank's given us a standing ovation. Olga walks over, grabs his arm, fascinating rhythms on now, and Olga tries to pull Hank out to dance, but ha Hank doesn't budge. I'm dying to pee. The bathroom with the just, the bathroom with, the pa <clears throat> the bathroom with just the candlelight is just too weird. Strange shadows and big porcelain ghosts. I blow out the candle and in the dark sit to pee because I know if I stand I'll miss the pot. <laughs> Well, we have, we got to leave Esther's house the way we found it. The smell of melting beeswax, quiet, so quiet in the room except for my piss in the bowl. Something like a ghost passed through me. Or maybe it's gas, a trembling in my chest that feels sick. When I lean my head on my hand, my forehead is sweating. I stand up slow and do what I always do when my body starts acting up, pretend it's not happening. At the sink is cold water in my face, handfuls of it. I really I relight the candle in the kitchen, keep pretending through the kitchen, through the living room. I think maybe if I turn on the lights the awful feeling will go away. But if I turn on the light that lights that means I'm sick and I'm not sick. The cigarette. It must have been the cigarette that fucked me up. The LP touches down and it's Billy Holiday, April in Paris. I'm in the doorway when I stop on the porch, the table that is an altar. Hank's bare-chested and glowing like a Catholic saint. Olga's gold, little fires all over on her body. Everything about her is pointed at Hank. Some songs can stop you in your tracks, especially that song. I go to take another step, I can't. Too much red wine, I figure. The Hennessy, or maybe I stood up too fast. In one hand, the candle and the flame. My other hand waves through the darkness, looking for something solid. My shoulder lands against the door jamb, in my ears a pulse of heartbeat, dizzy. I tell myself that if I fall, I should fall so Hank and Olga don't see. A long moment when my body isn't mine at all. In fact, my body goes away altogether. I'm like the flames. No substance, only spirit. Long, deep breaths. My eyes, whose eyes are they? Look down at my chest, my hand, some strange guy's finger. For a moment, I actually think my heart is breaking. Billie Holiday isn't singing, she's talking to me. Her voice, the way each word is in her mouth. How she licks it, 
rolls it around, makes the word hers. It's as if she's so present, loving how that sound is in her mouth. She doesn't ever want to let it go. This is how it is. Let me tell you how Paris is in April. All this hope. Fucking hope, man. But the way Billy loves each moment, every word, makes her hold on a little too long. Why she lives is in this moment, giving voice so precious. She doesn't want to let it go. But any moment now, she's going to fuck up the rhythm. But she always lets go, she always lets go just in time. And she never fucks up. In my chest, the sick feeling leaves as quick as it came. My heart is pounding strong. I'm back in my body, breathing deep, and so happy to be back home. I'm in my moment the way Billy is, holding on to it for dear life. All those years I spent trying to get out of my body, when all the while I was trying to get in. I slide down the door jam, and my butt hits the floor. In my hand, I'm holding a fire on a candlestick. In front of me, just beyond, out there in the world, on the screen in porch, in the candlelight, Hank swirls up Goya. I can't believe my eyes. In that part of the house between the screened in porch and the living room is a stage. The candles are the dramatic lighting. Hank is on the stage, just in his long khaki shorts. Olga's scarf, a turban tied around his head. He is dancing. Hank's not showing off, or maybe a little. He's a man alone dancing in a room, his eyes closed. He's dreaming with Billy in Paris in April. That thing in his shoulders and his chest that always seems to hold him up isn't holding him up. How smooth his body is in the light. Like a man made out of pie dough, you just want to take a bite. His feet are solid on the shiny, slick oak. His second toes longer than his big toes, thin ankles, his surprisingly hairless calves. Olga's at the table, her curly black hair hanging down to her shoulders. Her hands are over her mouth, her gold bracelets down around her elbows, eyes bright and wide as if she's witnessing one of the wonders of the world. She is. Hank Christian is dancing. Slow, more like a man swimming than a man dancing, how a body moves against the water. That way straight guys won't move their hips. Hank is moving. My ass is beautiful the way his hips are moving. The candlelight on the muscles of his back, his chest, his arm, that full bright face framed in cornflower. His closed eyes, his nipples, his hairy underarms, the hair in the middle of his chest, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Hank's gone. He's with Billy in her moment that she lives in, that she expresses, that she craves. Hank's body, how he licks the music, rolls it around, makes it his. What have you done to my heart? The silence after the song, LP scratches, crickets. Warm, the night is warm, I'm still sweating. My eyes can't bear to look into Hank, so I quick look away. The candlelight on the oak floor, the shadows around the table, the candlelight against the screen, delicate. We are so delicate. When I wake up, I'm in my bed in my room upstairs. I don't know what the fuck. I'm just in my shorts, and on the bed there's a pool of sweat between my shoulder blades. Night sweats. I'll come to, I'll come to know night sweats well. Something is flashing. It's outside the flashing. Really, all I know about the flashing is that it's not in me. The pain in my chest is gone. I feel fine, a little drunk maybe. Then flash, there's a big bright light, silver that for an instant makes every object super real and alien at the same time. The shadow from the, that light slanted, a weird cold darkness. Moments later, a crunch of thunder. Out the bay window, the huge dome of Pennsylvania sky is a road map of heaven. Long cracks of heat and light point bright fingers into the deep dark earth. Silent flashes, repetitions of flashes. Every so often thunder you can feel in your bones. The earth is a baseball getting hit out of the park. Another big bright light, a night sky crack, and the earth is the color of the moon. On the nightstand, the, di the digital clock is flashing 2.11. I try the nightstand lamp, no electricity.
electricity. That's when I hear it, a blast of Beethoven or something like him, music real loud that all at once is all around me. Then just that fast, the, movie, the music winds down, a 45 record going to 33 and a third. Then boom, the loud music again. I go to the bathroom off the bedroom I stay in, turn on the switch, no light, strange how electricity and running water we just expect. I can see myself in the mirror, mostly my white shorts. I put my finger on the white tile around the sink, position my feet firm on the floor. I take a deep breath. This shit's been going on way too long. When I check in, my heart is fine. My breath is coming in and out. When I move my fingers, my fingers move. My toes wiggles, my shoulders, my arms, my legs. Still got my old poop. My mouth tastes like old cigarette, and my head is sore right in the middle above my eyes where it always gets sore when I drink and smoke. Reality. Still something's fucked up, even if it's not me. It's the world. The world is fucked up. Maybe it's the end of the world. Outside the heavens are flashing hallelujah, and there's weird Beethoven music blasting out and then slowing down, blasting out, slowing down. The only thing I can figure is that Hank and Olga are downstairs fucking with the stereo hi-fi. The two of them doing some interpretive dance to the light show outside. I don't think there's, I don't even think there's no electricity. So how can there be no uh, stereo hi-fi? Outside through the bay window, it's far more interesting than the mirror. If it's the end of the world, I may as well witness it. Who knows how long I stand there, make myself look close. If these are my last moments, I'm a lucky guy. My eyes, these two round things inside my head that see, are delighted at the magic light show that the gods are putting on. Then there's a new sound, a tapping that gets louder. Ben? Ben, are you in there? Are you awake? I open my bedroom door and it's Hank and Olga huddling around the flame of a candle. Olga's hair is down and she's just in her white slip. Hank's white shorts are like mine, stretched out in the crotch and legs. Is that you guys down there, I said, making that weird music? No. Hank and Uncle say at the same time, we thought it was you. <laughs> Look at us, three little children with a taper. So close together you think it's one person walking through the dark house. It's funny so we're laughing, but it's not too funny. That music ain't funny. Shoulder to shoulder to shoulder down the stairs. Bare feet against oak floors. Olga's spicy perfume. What's left of Hank's polo aftershave, sweat. At the bottom of the stairs, the foyer in the dark is every kid's nightmare of a haunted house. Right then, there's a big silver flash of light, and when the thunder hits, it shakes the chandelier. Olga screams, then I scream, and then Hank farts. <laughs> One of Hank's famous farts. Then we're laughing so hard, we fucking can't navigate. Delicate. We are so delicate. Look at us. Inching, inching to the living room, carrying a tiny fire, to the big, <coughs> weird Beethoven sound, loud and then slow, and then loud and then slow, coming from the living room. The Beethoven sound is coming from the Beethoven record that is on the, on the record on top of the pile I loaded up the hi-fi stereo with, except I don't remember putting a Beethoven record on there, and Hank didn't put it on, the, on either, or Olga, but it's there. The needle in the middle of the record, Beethoven's fifth. Hank reaches down and pulls the phonograph needle off the record. Outside, the storm keeps going, blasts of light and thunder, but at least this, but at least the music has stopped. The only rational explanation Hank and I can come up with is that, is that the electricity in the air somehow is fucking with the stereo hi-fi. Olga has another opinion. Music is the structure of the invisible, she says. When we go back to bed, we go together, all of us into the same room, my room, upstairs. When we get to the room, the bathroom light is on. 10 minutes later, the lightning storm has passed. In the bathroom, I brush my teeth while Hank takes a leak. He's got a set of kidneys on him. I shut off the light. When I walk into the bedroom, Hank's body, Olga's body, our dark silhouettes pressed against the bay window. Look, Ben, Olga says, more mystery. <laughs> I press my palm against the glass. Once more, the weird, lovely night shows its magic. Below us, on the ground, 
another light storm.